All right, so this is Alkesh Nanavati, and let's get started here. Uh, we have a lot to talk about, so um, I'm thinking that uh, we should break things down. So in the first two videos, we'll go up to this render node, which is uh, setting up of the background uh, without rain, smoke, fire, and the aircraft itself. The aircraft, uh, we will uh, talk about it separately. It's right here. Um, focus on that so that you see where it is and how it looks. By the way, we are inside of Fusion, uh, and Fusion's 3D environment is what we are going to make the best use of in this um, discussion. So we'll not talk about the aircraft for now. We'll just uh, focus on this render part here. So if I play it, um, it will cover the uh, replacement of the sky, um, all the darkening of the um, of the city, the parallax because the camera is moving, all the uh, emergency vehicles here that are lined up, and some of the object removal techniques that I have applied here, which is a lot in itself. So it will take, I think, at least 20 minutes to talk about. So where do we start? The very first thing here is the uh, the picture itself. So let me just bring that in. This is the picture that uh, my friend Dennis took. And let me bring the picture inside of the viewer here because we need to look at some of the metadata first. Look at which camera did he use, what was the model, uh, f-stop and all that, the uh, focal length. These things are important in this project because we need to recreate the camera that he used inside of Maya which would then project this image onto the geometry that you will create, you know, all these buildings, so that when you use another camera and move around, you will have the exact uh, parallax that you're looking for. So what I mean here inside of Maya, if I go, the same picture, you're looking through the camera again, and uh, you have set the camera up so that you know where the origin is. Uh, and then here is the city that I have uh, built with all the simple geometry. And if I go into the perspective view and focus on Manhattan, lower Manhattan, or some of the buildings, this is what it looks like. Um, let me just shade it so you can see it better. So this is my small city created by all the very simple geometry. There is nothing much here other than um, geometry to block things out. right? And when you look at it through your camera that you're going to be using, um, it's perfectly lined up. The camera is not moving here, right? This is just the camera that will project the image. You are not doing any animation inside of Maya this time. Everything is going to be done in Fusion. Right, so that's all I used Maya for in this project. Save the file, go over to Fusion, and the first thing I do in Fusion is create a camera. Now it's already created, but let me just quickly show you what I mean by that. Just create one camera here, and I'm going to just create an image plane just to uh, show you how it looks. So here is the scene that we just created here. And you can see that the uh, camera is where it should be, which is at the origin, right? Now, we don't need this camera. We want the camera that we built in Maya. So you go into Import Camera, go to the location where that camera would be, which would be in the Maya project file, into the scene and New York City. There are two cameras, obviously, one is perspective, we don't need that. We want this camera, which I forgot to name, I see. And as soon as you click OK, this camera is going to move exactly in the location where Maya camera is. So in a way, this is actually Maya camera that you're looking at. And it comes in all locked up, so you, you don't have any possibility of uh, moving it. But that's it, yeah. So now you can use this camera to project the image um, that uh, Dennis took. 
so let's go down here and start here again so here's the the picture I didn't need the sky here I was going to replace it so I just masked it out with polygon mask and uh, blurred the uh, edge here then what I did is as I had mentioned in my summary I needed some emergency vehicles lined up here and for that there was one police car in my town one night that my son took a video uh, on cell phone and if I play it here it's just the flashing light of that car the car is here which I didn't need I just I just needed the uh, the lights made several copies of that um, so if I uh, show you here is the original file right then I masked it with uh, what I needed made several copies of that and then use the transform node to move it on this picture and this is what it would look like once you put inside of the uh, of the file itself now you also see some other you know changes here that we'll walk through very quickly but this is the location of all the vehicles that I I posted let me just minimize this to keep things nice let me open this group here where police cars are coming in but this is how it actually works so this is the original file without the sky with police cars then I needed some um, of the shadows removed so I used the paint node for that and I basically just cloned everything that was highlight into the shadow area so that everything looks plain the other thing I needed was um, this highlight here should not exist and this one here should not exist and also this boat should not be in the water so I painted those things out and this basically I have used the clone tool for that let me just show you how it works if you are interested very quickly um, so I'll just create a paint node here connect this to paint node and look at the picture okay so here is the boat that I want to remove uh, I don't need that I want to have single stroke and clone so I'll use this water here so alt click here to have my source and then start painting out the object here as best as I can and this is how basically I painted out the uh, now you can't go too far because otherwise you're going to repaint you know all the boat again so here there you go so that boat is gone now so if you look at it from a distance now here it didn't work out I guess too well uh, I could have used some other pixels but you got the point as to you know how this was removed the same thing I did here um, I used a little smaller brush uh, and used the pixels from here to basically you know paint out the effect of the uh, reflection alright so let me remove that and move on to color correction which you know neutralizes the uh, the shot a little bit then I used brightness and contrast to make it a little darker then color corrector again after that to make even more punchy uh, darker uh, and that image uh, after that brightness and contrast let me close the group here and you see that it's uh, much darker now and that image then went inside of this projector right so now this projector is projecting that picture so let me stop here and then uh, we'll go into the next video and talk about all the 3d aspect of it including the uh, the fog Okay, thanks a lot.